Art School 003, Art School 3. <clears throat> and so to begin with, you need to start going on something right off the bat. Okay? I want you to do some lousy drawings. The main thing is just to draw. Don't worry about refinement, at least for now. Don't worry if it looks like uh, what you're drawing. Just draw. First, get yourself a sketch pad. If you don't have one, get some paper. If you're broke, <coughs> that's a little bit of a problem, but not much. We live in a paper world. First, get yourself a, you know, uh, <coughs> You know, anyway, anyway, go go to any office district and you'll find tons of paper being thrown away every day with all the writing on one side. Grab that stuff. The other side is yours. If you're out in the boondocks, you can even make some paper by making a pulp. Hopefully I'll get into that a little later, one of these day, times. But for now, um, you can find out by asking around. So you make a pulp and you dip a screen into it. Pull it out, let it dry, and then peel off the paper and there you are. That stuff is worth more anyway because you made it from scratch. People love that. Made from scratch. You made the paper. The paper was made by the artist. Take it, you can use it for promotional. Take it in bunches and glue them on one edge with rubber cement. Or just put them uh, one at a time on your sketch board. This can be a piece of cardboard or a piece of press board. I, I'd say the best thing is, uh, you know, something you could put push pins in or thumbtacks. That'd be kind of like... Um, I'm about to say plywood, but I don't know. Hey, I've always liked to use uh, commercially prepared art artist uh, boards. You know, okay. Uh, if you got some money, or <laughs> go out and panhandle some, get a drawing board from an art supply store or some plywood from the lumber store and sand it smooth. All right, now, if you've got some supplies, grab something to draw with. A uh, ballpoint pen will do, but it's better um, for now if you can uh, get a hold of some kind of pencil. If you're too poor, light a fire and set in it a number of twigs. When the fire gets going pretty well, cover it with sand, uh, a sand mound and poke a hole in the top of the mound. Uh, making sure it makes it makes it all the way down to the twigs. Let that fire smolder itself out for a day, letting the smoke escape through the small hole at the top of the sand pile. The next day, dig it up and collect the twigs. By then, they should have become charcoal, and you can draw with that. Use one and save the rest. Charcoal drawings can be valuable and you might be able to sell some of your stuff later. Now, take a piece of paper and crumple it up. That's right, not too tight now, just a loose ball. Throw it on the table. That's your model for a couple of weeks. Start drawing it. Work as long on each drawing as you see fit. As you draw, a learning process is taking place in your mind. It's a natural thing that takes place without you or a teacher imparting some special lesson or skill. That's why I reiterated that everyone's an artist. How much of an artist you will become depends on how much you allow the natural process to take place. Be careful though, you might harm the process by letting boredom get the best of you. You might switch on the radio and start listening to the news. You might begin a conversation with someone while you work. 
This is what destroys the process. I insist. It is like a beautiful crystal growing in a solution. It only grows if the solution is not disturbed. When you try to entertain yourself, you don't realize it, but you are doing what is called quote-unquote multitasking and the art process growing within you won't form properly. You may pick up on art in a vague wispy way but it will, will have become shallow and lifeless, lacking in power and determination. As you get further down the line, if you fool around, you won't have the control you need to make a positive statement, and that, after all, is great art. Above all, stay away from the pop music, especially rock and roll. These have cheap driving backbeats and shallow flippant chord repetition that have a destructive effect on the mind. How can that be, you ask? Music can't hurt anyone, you think. That's just it. The repetition of the music causes the mind to remove vast parts that aren't being stimulated. To be stimulated... In more parts of your mind, you need natural random sounds and sights. What these do is touch more parts of your mind, and as the saying goes, use it or lose it. If it's stimulated, the mechanisms of survival in the brain won't assimilate it and take it away. They'll find something else for dinner than your brain. Talk about strain your brain. Just so, you might as well face it, there's a trade-off with true artists, mostly. They become more and more in intellectually capable, and then less and less able to get along with the average people that have unwitting, unwittingly participated in the pop culture of their day and have gone through the lobotomizing process. You'll be thinking differently more and more as you develop your powers of reason and those powers of reason will begin to increase you'll become something foreign and abhorrent, abhorrent to most of them, and they will gossip about your ways of thinking, which will be more and more different from theirs. You will have begun to enter the creative process. It will begin to wake you up, and you'll begin to enjoy thinking more and more you'll come up with original ideas this is the natural process in the human being that is so great and wonderful and could be present in everyone but most are afraid and conform to a destructive world that just breaks them down into an unreasoning mass of economic shallowness. But I want you to survive. I want you to survive. I know full well the human being to be capable of so much more than the disappointing, meaningless existence we are stuck in these days. <clears throat> We're nothing more than the profit motive is paramount. Excuse me, I gotta, I gotta get me some water. What are you talking about? Ugh. Got this fridge right here. Uh, the only trouble is, I got, ah, uh, there we go. So, got some coffee grounds at the bottom of my cup. Ugh. Guess I'll have to make do. The other day I make, I had to make do and I got wet. 
I could laugh at my own jokes, anything for a laugh. I want you to survive, man. <clears throat> okay. Listen. <clears throat> um, there's... There is only one thing of value in society, and that's art. Yeah. Even though the artist is downtrodden and made to be insignificant, just look at how they need us. Offers of a half billion for one, of, for one Rembrandt, you know, and it's turned down. Somebody said, oh yeah, I'll give you a half billion for that Remy. The guy says, no way. What? Tell me they don't need art. <clears throat> and they still put artwork on their currency in every country. Keep drawing that crumpled up piece of paper for a while. One drawing after another. If you try... Uh, you can even feel the ideas and the mental abilities growing in your mind. <clears throat> Get quiet and let that mind crystallize. At last, you're giving it a chance to move higher, even if it is a piece of crumpled up paper on the table. You are unlocking your ability to say something about it. Yeah, now we're talking. Let's go here. Because of the simplicity of your present subject, you aren't sidetracked by things you might mentally uh, yourself consider important. That crumpled paper, its angles, its shades, its planes, and much more give you a new power of development. It's a blank statement. It gives you the ability to discover necessary things about drawing itself and is helping you to develop into a more competent craftsman. Excuse me. Ah, oh, man. Whew. Okay. As the saying goes, use it or lose it. Okay, so just, just draw the paper. Doggone it, kid. Trust me on this one. Just do it. Let your, let your mind develop. Begin the process of unlocking that artist within you. It could get transposed later into the ability to paint a landscape or design high fashion or design a car or an aircraft. It might lead you to architecture. But one thing is that if you start simple and build on a solid foundation, <laughs> well then your creativity will develop.